Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to talk about how we can import GLB 3D models uh, from Sketchfab or overall Blender to the Unity. Okay, first take a look at this uh, package over here, which called uh, GLTF Utility. Uh, it has been released almost five years ago, but it has been up updated uh, during this time. And uh, thanks to CCT for releasing this package. I will share the link of this package in the description of this video for sure. But before that, we should have JSON.net for Unity. I will share the link of this package from the Google Drive into the description of this video as well. First, you just need to download the zip file of this uh, Unity package. After that, imp uh, double click on this guy and import this JSON.NET for Unity into your Unity project. Then, you can click on here, download zip, and after that, you can import, I already downloaded here, yes, uh, you can import the GLTF utility folder into your projects folder, as far as I did. Look at this, GLTF utility master, it is the main folder of this package. Okay, uh, the next step is, we should go over here, project, and in the graphics section, uh, we have here uh, always included shaders, okay? By default, as you can see, it is just six numbers. And uh, these are the shaders of the default of uh, Unity project. But you need to go to the GLTF Utility Master and Materials and Built-in. Here, as you can see, we have four different shaders. Uh, standard metallic blend shader and metallic, uh, specular metallic and specular. You need to select all of them and drag and drop into the always included shader. And now we have 10 shaders. Look at this. Now it's done. You know, you just need to go to the uh, somewhere you can download the GLB file. For example, a Sketchfab website. It is a, a very common website for um, download or purchase 3D models. Um, look at this. Some of them are free, and they don't have any, you know, restriction or license. It is uh, free to use. And you just need to click on here, download 3D models. And look at this, uh, you can download the 3D model in the different uh, formats. And here, uh, the good point of GLB is you can download the 3D model with the texture, embedded texture, and also material. It, look at the glass of the canopy. The material of glass okay now I have F16 Falcon GLB I just need to okay drag and drop this file into my project and now look at this it's here but uh, oh sorry I don't have uh, Direction light load, so I, let's go to the another scene. And now, look at this the material of the canopy. It is much more better than uh, the Sketchfab itself. Look at this. Now it is free to use and easy to use. And as you can see, you have access to the all objects sub-objects in the main uh, 3D model and if you take a look at here you have access to the textures and materials as well if you want to change the material you just need to do something cool uh, just click on 
uh, this guy or even let's go uh, I want to do something new here I create a 3d mod uh, a folder sorry new f16 okay and put it over here and now I click on 3d model and here into the import import settings do we have anything to uh, export the materials okay no we don't have we just need to say okay import materials or not so other solution is we can select them and press Control D and now we have access to the materials separately and now if I put the 3d model here and for example I want to change the material of this part what is the name of this material uh, it's this thing place okay uh, in fact uh, this guy and now I drag and drop this material now I have access to change the color or change everything look at this all right I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you don't hesitate to ask any question related to unity AR VR and XR subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it have a great time bye bye